account executive Corinne Roberts gets just giddy contemplating all the Bay Area places to eat. She credits her romantic cozy spot with great French food, but it's the ultimate American classic, the burger, that really makes her swoon. You'll find it all on Union Street at a little place called Gamine. Gamine is about having a place where you can go and you know that you're gonna feel good. It's like a big family. My name is Stephen Bouillet and my partner in life, Suzanne Adamsi and myself, are the proud owner of a neighborhood French bistro called Gamine. I was raised in Marseille, which is south of France on the Mediterranean Sea, and this is where I did my study as well for hotel and restaurant and the wine business, and then I fall in love with the whole aspect of pairing food and wine together. Running a restaurant is about having fun. It's the love, because if you don't cook with love, it doesn't matter what you do, you will sense it. We do great escargots. We also do a great steak tartare, which is hand cut to the order. Most of clients never even look at our wine list. They just ask us to recommend them something based on our opinion or based on what they eat. We need to keep a lot of new wines coming in to surprise them. It's just a lot of fun. The best representation of what Gamini is about is one of our clients that got up after the dinner, gave me a hug, and basically say, Stefan, wow, I feel like Gamine is an extension of my living room, which is exactly what we are hoping to achieve. Okay, Corinne, now Gamine means uh, mischievous or mis mischievous. Mis do you, do you mischievous young woman, right. <laughs> do you get in trouble when you go there? No, because I'm, I'm very happy when I go there, so no trouble at all. Um, the reason I love Gamine is because I've, it reminds me of when I was in Paris, and mm -hmm. you step outside of San Francisco and into a little Parisian bistro. Um, the service staff is all French. Um, the food there is decadent and rich. There's no diets allowed when you go to Gamine. <laughs> well, of course, not either in Paris. I'm no, sure. and the wine is always flowing. So mm -hmm. it really has all the aspects that I care about for a good restaurant. And what is your go-to dish when you go there? I know. It's kind of ironic, but I have to go for the burger. It's a thick French roll, and then mm. you have a thick piece of meat that's perfectly seasoned, and then a thick slice of brie that just melts all over mm. it. It is the best burger in the whole Bay Area, as far as I'm concerned, and I've tried a lot of burgers in my time. That's a big order right there. That's a it's, big it's order. A, I want to, I'm it's, a you guys, it's a bold statement, uh -huh. but I think. I mean, go there, and I think you will agree with Okay, me. you're talking to a girl from the Midwest here, honey, a burger. Mm. So what do you, I, give me the your opinion. Did on. you guys have the burger? Oh, God, I love the hospitality at okay. Gamin, and I, I was so impressed that the wine list had five rosés, especially in wintertime. And Did you know I, they sell more rosés in the entire city than any other restaurant their size? Wow. So, and you know what? That well, makes me happy. I tell you, as a rosé oh, lover, that makes me so thrilled and happy. I had a great glass that went beautifully with their French onion soup. Oh. I love the onion soup. I wish I could say the same for the mussels. Oh, the mussels oh. themselves were good, but they came with this big shot of raw chopped garlic on top that hmm. was really sort of off-putting. And my husband had the scallops that was a special, and, and the waiter, who was great otherwise, didn't mention mention the price of the scallop special. We were surprised there were only three scallops on the plate, but we were more surprised that it was $24. It, and that was the highest you know, that's price item on the menu. Another reason I really love Gamine is it's affordable. It's Everything affordable. on the menu is in the teens, and $24 is definitely on the high end of anything on the menu. So I'm and I saw Jeremy sort of well, you know, I, I when thought you mentioned it was, the mussels. It's true. I thought the mussels were great. I really love the mussels. My only complaint was there's actually too many. So <laughs> I thought it was something you had to share with a group, and it would be a perfect appetizer. I shared that broth. Did you? The broth was oh, really I love the good. Broth. Did you take and, and the bread out of the basket and dip it in? Yes. Well, yes. Excellent. And the waiter suggested that I do that with the fries, too. I was really shocked. Did anybody else have the fries? Yeah, I had the fries yeah. with the mussels, They were and I really loved it. sort of limp yeah. and colorless, and some of them were even hard inside. I feel like I hit it on a bad night. I think so. I've, I think the fries are perfectly salted. They're crispy. Are they I, a free Style that There's a free yeah. 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 Fruit style, mm -hmm. um, and I always use them to soak up whatever I happen to have on And why night. are the mussels, why did you love the mussels? Was it, what, well, the what was Well, the mussel order I got, I'm not sure. It was a um, spicy lamb sausage there. Oh. So I thought it gave it a really nice flavor. There were a lot of herbs, spices. It was in a white wine sauce. It just really came together, had a nice flavor, a nice spice, and something that would be perfect to share on a cold day with a, with a large group of friends. Before the burger, I always loved the French onion soup. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you get the thick, yeah. gooey mm. cheese that you almost have to use your, your knife to cut in half because it's connected to your bowl, to your mouth, and it's a big old mess, and the thick pieces of bread that soak up the broth. But another, one of my favorite appetizers is the combozola. Hot cheese, really, mm -hmm. that you just dip with bread, and it's decadent 
it in, and there's a clove of garlics to spread on top of that. So um, I, I like you. You like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> cheese has to be at every step That's of the way. Right. And what did you have, Jeremy, besides the mussels? So I had the French onion soup as well. You're right, a ton of cheese. A ton of cheese. Perfect for a cold night. Um, the wine list I thought was exceptional. A lot mm -hmm. of white wines, uh, French wines, reds, whites, California. Uh, all very reasonably priced. Yeah, affordable wines. Affordable absolutely. wines, which was which was great. Mm -hmm. And uh, for an entree, I also had the salmon, which I really liked. I thought it was uh, very delicate. Poached salmon uh, tasted very fresh, uh, very tender. It had a uh, weak fondue. Yeah, I thought it was very flavorful. And overall, I loved the restaurant. I thought it was very nice. And what about service? You had mentioned briefly. Oh, the, the gentleman who served us met us at the door when we left and opened the door and shook our hands and thanked us for coming. And the service was really, really fine. Mm -hmm. I, I could find no fault with it except that he didn't tell the the price of the special, but we could have asked. Right. But it is a small place. I mean, it's very intimate. Yeah, there's 25 seats, mm -hmm. nine tables, so it's very small. They don't take reservations, and, you know, I, I always see a lot of regulars when I'm there, mm -hmm. and there's kids, and there's families, so I think it's it's a neighborhood spot. It just makes mm -hmm. me kind of feel comfortable at home. I feel like I can spend hours there, mm -hmm. which yeah. I've done. <laughs> and in those hours, do you eat dessert? <laughs> I normally go for the chocolate mousse, which mm -hmm. normally I'm not a big fan of, but their mousse comes out thick and creamy, and it does take two people to finish. So that's my favorite dessert there. I was supposed to share it. <laughs> I, I prefer not to. No, no. You needed to cleanse I the garlic I wish it wasn't up. so creamy. I, I miss no. the really deep chocolate flavor really? of a classic French chocolate mousse. And I was a little bit put off by some streusel topping or something on mm. top that you couldn't really tell if the mousse was smooth or if it was the streusel oh. that was crunchy or what was going on there. I, I wanted like more dark chocolate crunchy. flavor. Okay, but I'm a partial of the chocolate mousse. That's understandable. All right, Corinne, this is your restaurant, so give us a quick wrap up. So if you don't want to spend the money to go all the way to Paris, I recommend you go to Gamine. The food's just as good, and it gives you that same Parisian bistro feeling. All right, and Jeremy. I look forward to going back to have the French onion soup, the mussels. I thought it was a wonderful restaurant. Okay, and Linda. I love the soup too, and I think next time I'm going to have a burger with a glass of rosé. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to try Gamine, it's on Union at Fillmore in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-771-7771. It's open every day for dinner with lunch on Friday and brunch on weekends. Reservations are accepted for groups of six or more, and the average price for dinner is around 